If you use Luminar Neo and like to darken the edges of your images using the Vignette tool, you're probably aware of two common issues. First, it's not a true post-crop vignette. So if you crop your image, the vignette will not start in the correct size. And secondly, there's currently not a mask available for the vignette tool. So what do you do if you only want to darken three corners, not all the edges? So if you struggle with one or both of those issues, in this video, you're going to learn a quick Luminar Neo hack that will solve both of those things. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and if you want to learn more about photo editing and get some tricks and tips, you're in the right place. So if you're ready, let's get started. Before I show you the hack, let's take a look at the issues themselves. I've already done some editing on this one, so you can see that I've adjusted the color and the contrast. As well, I've cropped it. You can see the original image here and the cropped version. Now let's go apply a vignette and see what happens. I'm just going to darken it and using the advanced settings, drag the feather all the way down to minus 100. And then you can see the edge of the vignette here and you can see the problem. The edge of the vignette is based on the original crop or the full size image. So size is already an issue. So I could bring it down to correct that, but sometimes you can't make it small enough. With this image, it works okay. But the issue here now is I want to darken these two left corners and not so much the ones on the right. So let me bring the feather up here and adjust the amount. And you can see that it's doing a nice job on those two left corners, but I don't want to darken the cactus. There's no mask, so what am I going to do? Well, let's undo the vignette tool and I'll show you a workaround. As a side note, these issues were something that came up during the Q&A live stream I did a while back with the Skylum team here on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to see what other questions were asked and the answers from the Skylum team, I'll put a link to that video in the description area below for you. Okay, on to the hack. To do this, you're not actually going to use the vignette tool. We're going to use develop. So go ahead and open the develop tool. Then what you want to do is darken the image. But now we have some options because we're using the develop tool. We can use exposure, which affects the midtones more than anything else. We can also adjust the highlights, the contrast, as well as any of these other options in the develop tool, including color. So for example, I could lower the saturation as well. Now that I've got the part of the image that I want to adjust looking how I like it, now it's time to mask the image. So click over to the masking tab and we're going to use a radial gradient to start. Simply draw an oval or a circle, size it and position it according to your image. I'm going to start with something about like that. Remember, wherever you see red, that is the mask and that is the part of the image that this tool is going to be affecting. So now I'm just going to go over to the masking tools again and you can see that it's now applied that radial gradient. I'm going to switch to the brush now and go to erase. You can tell when you're erasing because if you look at your cursor you'll see a minus sign as opposed to a plus sign. If you press the X key on your keyboard you'll switch to paint and you'll see a plus sign. If you'd like to get a copy of my free Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts I'll put a link to that in the description for you below. Okay, so I make sure I'm erasing and then I'm just going to get a much larger brush and once I start clicking on the image, I can erase it from the parts that I don't want it affecting. So I want to make sure I get the whole cactus as well as this right hand side of the image like that. Now you can see that the effect is only applying on the left side. We can check it by going down here and clicking show. Now that I've got the mask defined, I can go back and tweak any of the adjustments. Now I find it's just a little bit too dark, actually. Something like that looks better. I just want to get this lower corner darkened so the bright area here isn't so distracting. So there you have it, a custom vignette using the develop tool. If you want more Luminar Neo education, check out Luminar Neo The Complete Course on my store. You'll find a link to it in the description area and in the pinned comment below. 
If you'd like to watch another video on YouTube, click here now. Until next time, keep practicing your photo editing, and we'll see you soon.